Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! So we're gonna check out some DLC. So there are, in fact, four different DLCs. Um, three main ones, and then one kind of subsidiary. So let's see what we have in store for us. So the three main ones are probably one from each of these. So let's just go through them one at a time and see what we get. Maybe I should be reading this aloud because I've never read this before. We're going to be experiencing this together. My life's work is complete. My designs are ready. We are teetering on the cusp of a modernist revolution. But I fear the day when a builder puts my designs to practice practical use will never arrive. The children of Hargon will find me soon enough and erase it all. They have eyes and ears in every corner. The futility of this message is evident, but hope, flimsy as it may be, remains. So modernist! That's cool stuff. Also, apparently we got some new recipes with uh, one of the other ones that I got. So we'll see if we can find them somewhere. Yeah. Oh, so this is probably just going to be the recipes for everything. Oh my goodness, we get to make such a pretty dress! Hold up, I'm gonna try this on. So I'm willing to bet that this will show off just everything. All the new recipes that we get anyway. And then the new islands we go to. These nice lamps. Where am I missing one? There we go. So the three are the... The Modernist Pack, which will give a lot of more modern um, designs and tools and blocks and things to make a more modern-looking building. There's the Hotto Pack, which I think is based off of a hot spring or a resort or something. And that's, that's going to be a lot of more traditional Japanese-looking designs. And then there's the Aquarium Pack, which is going to obviously let us do a lot of water-related things. There's also the Knick-Knack pack, which is free. That's not even DLC. It's free. Well, it's DLC, but you don't have to pay for it. You do have to go to the eShop in order to purchase it. Um, but it adds just a handful, three or four recipes that are just kind of free to use. And then there's the sunglasses, which you can also get. And those are cool. Ooh, futons! A cafe tabel. F a fancy tabel. Wait, was that new? That was weird. I don't think that was new. Ooh, a bubbly bath! Ooh. What else we got in here? A colored cup. Ooh, soups! Look at all these fancy foods! Got some samurai swords. They're decorative, of course. Shoes. That's well, decorative. It can be dyed, but I can't wear it. I don't know what that is. Indefinite tonking device. It's one of those little bamboo water things. Ooh, and a water wheel. Okay, you got some nice... Looks like Japanese uh, sliding doors. Oh, tiling, roof tiling for the Japanese-styled homes. Whole bunch of fancy blocks in here.
Not sure what the purpose is of some of these. Like, what's this? Jungle. I guess it's like if you wanted wall something that looked like wallpaper. Oh, that's a neat looking staircase. A kitchen counter? Really? That's in here? Why? Kitchen counter, eh? Oh, place. Do you cook things on it? Do I have anything I can cook real quick? Okay, so I guess it's just one of these, only it looks like a kitchen counter. Okay, that potato's just gonna go for a little bit. Okay, so that was that. Is there anything... I don't know, there may be stuff at other benches, though? Oh, I finally got the Thunderbolt Blade recipe. So that's nice. Okay, a couple things I haven't marked off in here, but otherwise nothing that looks new. That's the die, that's the builder. Oh, you can make some neat things in here, like the 8-bit bricks and things, if you wanted to make kind of a world map. That's kind of neat. Oh, and grass. Okay, so I'm sure I'm missing something, though, so let's go ahead and check the Builderpedia. So it just occurred to me that isn't even where I was actually wanting to look. Uh, recipes! Here we are. So there's a couple new things in here. So some of these... Okay, so that can be made at the... Anvil. It's a paddle! And then... Uh, something in here. Okay, and that can be made at the dye extractor. Just white dye? That's just... Oh, it's just a different recipe for white dye. Okay. Is anything locked? I gotta catch lots of different types of fish. Okay, well... Oh, apparently a new hairstyle was also added. I don't know if that's something that I have to go out of my way. Nope, that's just hair color. So formal. Yeah, everything else looks normal. I don't see anything else new. There is supposed to be a new hairstyle. Maybe I've just had it already. I think it was, maybe it was this one or something. I don't know. Anyway. We gotta go check crap out. I should probably bring friends. So let's grab Malroth. Malroth is always down for a good time. And let's grab... Hey, I can bring jewels over. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Um... Hey, Hayden. And while you're doing that... You can come back to Sands. Yay! We got everybody here. That's not what I came here for. That's just a thought that I had part way through. Great Saber Cat. Nope, nope, no, no, no. 
Always need a great saber cat for a grand adventure. I can't figure out what he's saying. <laughs> Let's just keep checking. Maybe we'll find something. Greetings from the fish fanatics paradise. Me and me fishing buddy have been living here for bleeding yonks now. Nothing but our rods and the fish for company. We spend our days casting off and waiting for a bite. It's heaven, I tell you. There's just one thing missing. A place for all our fishy friends to live. If a builder reads this, we need your help. Come to Angler's Isle, Sharpish, and build us an aquarium. You got it, guy. Current swashed me here. This foreign land, my abode. Thoughts of home fading. Memories cling on. Nostalgic vistas of old call out to builders. Sail to bamboo bluffs, natural grace in full view. Yours for the taking. Okay, there, I did all of them. Now, can I find anything? I know where Blossom Bay is. Okay, so maybe that first one, like, didn't give an island. I think I remember that. One of the three DLC things didn't actually give an island, so I may have just been unlucky enough to read that one first. There it is. There's one of them. There's Angler's Isle. Where's Bamboo? Oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, uh, There it is. Ah, I found it. I feel like the Angler's Isle is going to be kind of a bigger ordeal, so we'll get to that one in a second. Um, is it just me, or is that water? Okay, there's some land out there. Okay, it's out there. It's out there. Sometimes the generation does that. It puts you in kind of a weird spot. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a task list. So I guess we just get to look around. See what we got. Look at these fancy trees! Alright, well, let's take a look around. See if we can find some new stuff. Okay, so this island, of course, only shows up after he's found Blossom Bay. Um, that's, that's kind of neat. I mean, that's kind of a thing. Um, pretty easy to do, though. Blossom Bay was one of the earliest ones that we unlocked. Thought I saw something over there. And it does have that as a prerequisite. The other one, I don't know if there is a prerequisite. I think you can just kind of do it. Oh, also, new... New stuff. Race. So 
So now you can set up rice paddies. Um, they give you the clue right there. It has to be planted underwater. But there are a couple crops that only show up in DLC. Like, say, rice. Thought I saw something over there. Just seeing things. I'm a little sad that there's like, what, no music here? Maybe I just can't hear it. But I swear there's no music here. That sure looks fancy, though. Bamboo! Man, got a big old bamboo forest up here. This looks neat! Look at this! Okay, so the bamboo seeds, so those will grow into the full stalks. Apparently, bamboo... I could not tell you why, but bamboo lags this game to heckin' back. Or at least it typically does. Maybe it does on the... when, like, a player plants it. I wonder if they're, like, always checking to grow and they have a near-infinite height or something. Maybe that's what it is. Well, I've been all over the island. And I don't see anything in the way of bosses or even a builder's best. So it seems like this is primarily a place to go get some of the items that they introduced in the DLC without having to pay for them with gratuity. Which, two notes on the gratuity thing. One, I thought it was neat that you can buy things with gratuity that, you, that were one-time items. You could not go back and get those. But now you can. You can get, like, another Noah's heart and stuff. Like, just every item you can get with enough gratuity, which is really nice for the freeform building aspect of it. But not everybody's going to want to pay gratuity for that. So if somebody wants to raise a rice patty, the only way to... You can't just get rice or craft rice out of a different plant. So this island seems to have been mostly made... Just as a way to get some of these things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get. The bamboo, the rice, and these trees mostly. Otherwise, it just seems to be Blossom Bay under kind of a different skin. So, neat thing about these... Okay, so you break them, you get wood. Simple as that. So, the neat thing about this, though, this ultimate, is that I, get, I get the whole tree. I mean, it says pine tree. This is clearly not a pine tree. And you just plop a whole tree right back down. It, it's exactly like the trees in, um... Or I can do this with all the trees. All the trees even back on the Isle of Awakening. It's kind of neat. You just grab it and then carry a tree around and plop it back down wherever you want. So anyway, I, I guess on one hand I'm a little bit sad, but on the other hand... The DLCs are mostly there to give you more building options. And this island was here not so much as an additional challenge or anything, but mostly just to assist you with your building challenges. And, I don't know. I can get behind that. Most of these DLCs are like $5 or so, and like, I paid more for breakfast yesterday. I mean, that was a big breakfast. Kind of sad in me all day. But still. So two things I wanted to check super quick before we run on. A, I just wanted to look like... Really? Hairstyle? Hairstyle? Or maybe these were just always here. Maybe it's... This is the... Th maybe this is the DLC that added the new hairstyle. Oh, and then I did get the... The designer's sunglasses. So that is something that was just unlocked. Okay, so good to know. If it was there, it would be there already. So we do have one more thing to take a look at. 
And this act this one actually adds quite a bit. I think this is a ten dollar DLC. I think both of the other ones are um, five dollars each. Oh, they're like ordered differently now. Okay, what was this one that it says? I guess the idea was that the guy put the designs in the note, so you read it and you had the designs. I don't know. Angler's Isle. I think this is the most expensive. I think this is a $10 DLC, as opposed to the other two being five each or so. Wow. Can't bring, can't bring buds? I just realized it never forced to save. It didn't force to save, and it didn't force me to, like, dump all my crap. You know, I have a boat. Wow, what happened here? A lesson for the ages. Oh, look at that! They got it, like, fenced in! That's neat. Well, hold up, are you friggin'... Tell me your name! <laughs> and who's your buddy? I expected there to be something in there. Take a look around, though. What do we got here? So I'm willing to bet those are the two people, which makes me sad. I was really hoping this was like a time-traveling Barbella. Hmm. Yeah, still not seeing anything new. I remembered it specifying a, and why I'm looking into it, I remember it specifying like a ponytail, not just like the overall thing. But anyway, let's go make some net. Hold on, I want to look around. What's going on up here? Anything too fancy? Or just kind of this? Looks like it's just kind of this. This place goes out, though. Like, there's a lot of stuff out there. Where does this go? 
It friggin' goes is what it does. There's the edge. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it back. Ow! Ooh, help. A lot of fancy little things in here. We got the kelp, we got a couple different little flower things that I've never seen before. Never seen these before. Alright, let's go fix that net and help Barbella out. Hey, can I just... Would it be easier if I just, like, did this? I did it. I fixed your net. Hey, Barbell, I fixed your net. Good luck with that. I sure am. Fishing. I want to fish. I sure do. I want to learn how to fish. Gonna go catch us a fish. I don't know how to use this. You use it like this. Nice simple fishing. I assume you just gotta wait for. Gotta catch him! Gotta mash that button until you catch him! I did it. I caught a fish. Hey, Barbella, I caught a fish. Hey. About that. Have I got news for you? Okay. Fish. Away it goes. You go, fish. You live your best life. No, I want you to come back. 
I mean, we're f kind of full, but we can figure something out. Okay, if you stand in a rocky area and cast your line into the water. So I guess because I was standing on the sand earlier, does that is that what matters? Like what rock you're standing on? Okay, so I got real lucky the first time. It's super standard fishing, though. You just you toss it in, you see him nip, and you gotta wait for him to bite, and then you mash the button. Yeah. That you can just hold it out forever, so you can go take a picture or something. I feel like this is a reference to something. Um, I want to say Gilligan's Island. Gillian makes me think Gilligan. But honest to goodness, I'm not putting two and two together. Well, I gotta go find your buddy. gonna let it free. But okay, I guess. I'll cook a fish. There we go. That's a fancy looking fish. Oh boy, I get to be a, I get to be a straw hat. Okay, so hold A and wait for him to calm down. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, gotta go fishing. 
Okay, well, I mean, I don't know where to fish from, so we're just gonna pick a spot and see what happens. Oh, that's a big one. They're probably all different fish, too. That's a fish! I can't even see myself! Okay, so I don't need the big one now. That's probably another sunfish. It, like, gets weak. That's ah, just a mac. And like it's weak, so like occasionally you'll you'll speed up. Okay, how about these tiny guys? How about you? Clownfish. Well, that's two of the three. I don't know what the third one is. I forget what it is already. That's a big fish. Very clear indication when it goes into a rage. Tells you exactly what to do, so it's all nice and easy. Got another sunfish. Not what I'm looking for. Maybe if I try a different spot. I forget what kind of fish I need. <laughs> I figured out some of this. Okay, so location. I'd like... Most of this is, like, super easy. Makes a lot of sense. Good, good fishing mechanic. I do not entirely understand fishing location, though. So it does just matter what rock you're standing on. Okay, well, I have these, so... You go have fun in there. And I've got little clownfish too, so you go have fun. Yeah, so I guess it is just 100% like what you're standing on. Uh, let's try one of these then. Maybe this will be easier. The lighter rock. Yep, just that easy. So I guess it in I guess it's a hundred percent what rock you're standing on or what block you're standing on
Oh man, rare fish! Rare fish, rare fish, rare fish! Whoops. Okay, so I guess they want me to fish from here. Caught a barrel! Man, Malaros getting into it. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a little heart wrenching. That isn't even why he left. Nah, he's still around somewhere. We don't know where. We gotta find him. I want to know what it is. I gotta be over here somewhere. Are you down? Are you way down? Oh, there's a cave here. I can do that. I can breathe! Oh my goodness, we've actually seen what somebody looks like. Much better. I don't know, I refuse to believe they have just a normal face under there. It ain't right. I like, though, how he spoke differently. <laughs> I knew Finn would be okay. <laughs> well, at least he's not going to try to kill us anymore. There we go. I knew he'd be okay. You don't just drop that on you. He's the one who sent us the letter. And now he's dead. <laughs> hmm. 
does everybody dislike my hair? There's the new hairstyles. I want to learn how to make the thug mask. Let's try some stuff out. Okay, so we can put on a real cute little swimsuit. Look at that. And two new hairstyles. I think that's one of the new ones. I know this is one of the new ones. Oh, it's fancy, though. I like it. Go with that one for now. Hmm. You know, I've had a lot of people tell me that. Okay, underground lake and crumble done. Oh, that's actually a neat place. That'll be fun. This is a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so it did save, but I didn't have to, like, dump my crap and make a big deal about it. It's a big one! You know, for being a big one, that one was a lot. Holy crap! I kind of wish I was standing closer to the edge. Oh no, it's a big one, but it's so small! No, it was the angel fish is what I needed. So it ends up being pretty easy to tell what you're going to catch once you figure it out. Like, one of those is going to be that angel fish. Oh, and he's coming in first. And if none of them is going to be the angelfish, like, the, the small one is the angelfish. So if none of them is going to be the angelfish, then I can just pull the line back in and recast until I see a small one. Yay, he'll take it! I guess he doesn't care about variety as long as I have three. I got your mail! Aquarium A. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> Building is what I do. Blueprint, eh? <laughs> Just gonna build it right into the wall? Oh, I actually am. That's nice and pretty easy, though. 
I'm not even gonna fill it with water? I mean, that was the plan. Okay, so what do we got? We got four window, all eight are open. That is true. That is a true statement. That end is open too. So it's really just the softwood. Got to put four softwood up front. That is going to be easy. Easy peasy. Okay, let me get all these fish out of my inventory because I do not need 8,000 fish all in my inventory. Softwood! Connecting windows! Connecting windows. I have some more in here somewhere. There they are. And an anemone. That'll be fun. I'm gonna do this from this side. Sorry, Malara. Okay, so, yeah, only thing I'm missing is an anemone. Well, let's go find an anemone. Animanu. Nominee. That looks like one. Oh, that was nice and easy. Got it. Thank you, Malroth. I don't actually need the kelp. I mean, you do you, though. Anemone, anemone. Okay, that's way in there, but I can just do this. <laughs> Needs water. Oh, man. I want whatever that is. Fresh water. Perfect. Can you? Which also means you can fish in most liquids. I wonder if you can fish in lava. Gotta put fish in it. Fish fash. <laughs> okay, sure, I can do that. Can I put one of each in? Does that count?
The big fish. Okay, we're just gonna talk underwater. I mean, yeah, it's kind of carved into the clock, into the cliff face. I mean, it wasn't that much trouble. <laughs> How about that friggin' giant fish that I put in here? Oh, I'm pretty sure I can get there. I'll take a hint. Where do you gotta go? I wonder how this is going to work, because it's kind of painful to be there. They're not hecking around with these. You gotta be here in the freezing cold and everything. All right, let's get out of this mess. Boy, if I got a present for you, I don't think it's gonna fit in that tank. Well, Pope. Please be easy. Yeah. A bigger aquarium. Double? Really? Double's easy. Double's nothing. I'm gonna do a lot better than double, let me tell ya. Alright, let's fill that in, and we're gonna go a lot better than double. How's that? Get the side. He's just gonna eat the other fish. <laughs> I feel like I should make it one taller, just like a little deeper. That's terrifying.
Yeah! Man, this was a heck of a DLC. Like, they added fishing, which is neat. All kinds of fish to go out and catch. Big thing, big event for you to do. If you want to go out and catch all 40-odd fish, that'll unlock another little recipe for you. I'm not going to bother doing that for the sake of the videos, because we're kind of at the end, and that's a heck of a time investment when we're, like, at the end. I'll for sure do it in my own time, though. But, like, not only that, but I was expecting this to just be, it's a little island, maybe there's some fish around. There's, you learn how to make a fishing rod here. Like, you go here, and there's a generic NPC that says, like, here's a fishing rod, go have fun. But instead, like, they went above and beyond. This is a big, and fancy quest, quest line for this. Like, this is way more than I expected. So that fills out as you learn how to do things. So we got all kinds of fish out there. That's cool. We got this over here. This needs to be, like, one deeper. It really does. I mean, that can't be that hard. There we go. Like I said, nice and easy. And that is a right, correct aquarium. So these two, they said they wanted to come back to the island. And I freed up a little bit of space. Oh, we did you one better. Okay, so we have to use the Registrar. Is this a place I can select now? Is this like... Is it treated like another island or something? So let's see how this works. Yeah, right there, fish! Fish! Alright! Good show. So there we go. That is Dragon Quest Builders 2. That's everything that I can think of. Everything that we can possibly do. Except, I mean, fish up the 40 fish, which unlocks the recipe. Which we can look. We can look and see what it is. This right here. The Marine Monument. It looks like kind of a fish... Kind of a trophy. Just... Fair. But that's it! That's our adventure! And that brings Dragon Quest Builders 2 to a close. Mostly. I've already said I love this game. I absolutely adore this game, and I want to keep playing this game, and honestly, I don't know what to do when I'm not playing this game. Like, what do I record next? You can record other games? How does that work? But I'm also going to be super sad to see this go. But I'm not going to let it go that quickly. I mentioned before I was going to do Middenhall. 
and that is the thing that we're doing next. I am, however, not going to be doing it for videos. I'm going to be streaming it. Um, at the moment, I'm going to be streaming it on Fridays, in place of Fragment Fridays. What with the state of the world currently, I'm not going to be able to uh, stream it on Thursdays like I had originally intended. So it's going to be Fridays, and we'll eventually finish it up. I'll upload those streams to YouTube, for sure. I'll do my best to. Um, it's probably going to be long and very slow-paced, as building something that large-scale is. But maybe somebody can get something out of it. A little relaxation, a little peace, a little presence of mind. But that'll show up here, so you guys will get to see the finished castle. And, hey, if I'm still feel feeling like building stuff after that, then maybe I'll pick up something else to build. We don't actually have to say goodbye. I just have to think about what I'm playing next. Until next time, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sticking with me on such a long... Such a long adventure. <laughs>